Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gain. I'd like to kick off this episode with a huge thank you to everyone who commented and gave me some feedback on the weekly asset roundup. It's certainly great to hear you guys are really enjoying this series and we're going to continue from Mondays. Let's do this. And kicking things off this week we have the Lunt Capital by Crazy Gluit. Now this building in particular is from Salt Lake City and it's a 14 by 8 plot size, so quite a large size but you've got two sort of independent buildings connected to one. You've got the large skyscraper and then the complex on the side. Now the texture levels of the brickwork are of high quality and I particularly enjoy the unique type of style of buildings we're now seeing. Nighttime views, as always, are sensational from Crazy Gluit. They really do come alive. Up next, we have these beautiful Dutch houses by Drenable. Now, these houses come as a pack. You have a corner house, a free, and a single. And if you were to check out Google Maps at this particular area, they are a spitting image of what you see. So if you wanted to build a Rotterdam build or anywhere similar in this area, these are certainly the buildings for you. And we have the return of our favourite, P. Delmo, and he's returned with this meadow grass. Now if you haven't heard of P. Delmo before you clearly have not browsed the workshop for trees, grass or plants because this man is sensational at his work. The meadow grass itself it looks beautiful, great way to fill out larger areas and not only that but the colourful flowers and plants were also released this week by P. Delmo and we're extremely excited to see what he releases in the near future. A fantastic return to the workshop. Up next we have a duo of releases for the Asara project. First up, Beard Monkey with his market stalls. And Los Gecko has also released some market activity here with some covers, some carpets and some pots. So obviously these have been built specifically for the Asara project but these can be used elsewhere as well. And it's been a busy week this week for Los Gecko. He's also released these Brussels houses. Now these houses are a traditional plaster-based wall-to-wall city house from Belgium. It's a 1x2 level 3 high density building and comes in four different coloured variations. And as always we get a very highly detailed and textured building when it comes to Los Gecko. And nighttime views as well very realistic. Back to Baroque is up next with the Community College. Now this creator is really starting to hit the workshop very strongly. Last week we saw the firehouse, this week we have another very well detailed model. Look at the texture levels, they are all at high quality. And what I like about these designs is they're detailed enough that you can get away with just placing them down. Obviously you've got a bit of room to work with your own sort of detailing levels, but if you're not a detailer, everything is here just for a quick place. Also this week.
Up next we have something a little bit different. We have Revo with the Ultrans Hoover Train Firefly. This one is the eight cars. Now this would be a great model for something a little bit more futuristic. Not so good for the modern towns or cities, but nonetheless a fantastic model. And also a new train track to show off. And up next we have the Swigglehausen with the Better Planes pack. Retro Jets. So I'm showing off the prop versions here just so we can really see the detail of these actual retro jets and they do look absolutely fantastic and I'm not just talking about the details to make these the retro jets but the planes themselves the building the quality the detail everything is absolutely brilliant and look at these these close-up views really do show off the ability of this creator And to end this week's episode, we have an absolute monster. We have the Oasis Hotel and Casino Resort from King Leno. And this is one gigantic building. So if you know this area well, this is modeled off of the Mirage Hotel and Casino from Las Vegas. And if you want to look at these in a little bit more detail, there is a fantastic series at the moment by King Leno called Paradise Valley. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.